It's been three months since I dyed my hair. Altogether, I paid 3,100 baht. I think it's worth it. The last time I did it was in mid-August. So you can kind of see that it's kind of growing out. And there's a hair salon that I DM on Instagram because I wanted to get free hair color slash haircut slash hair treatment. So then I DM them in exchange for like a shout out in a video. But anyway, so this hair salon is near this hotel. I think it's a hotel. It's either a hotel or a condo. I'm not too sure. I took the boat instead because it's less than grab. And then the security guard was so nice. She was helping me because I was trying to figure out where the salon is. Feels a little bit bougie and look they have a the ore magazine. What the heck? This is a drink menu, you can like take a look and order everything and we also have banana cake, right? <gasps> free stuff get me. Well technically it's not free. I just want a sprite. Oh, oh. sprite cat. The vibe is really light and modern, but then there's a cactus that stands out in the back. Free stuff get me. Do I look different? So <clears throat> I genuinely think that they are really good. I'm not just saying it for the video, even though I kind of got it done for free, but I really like it. And I think I look healthier with this darker color. And it's been three months since I last done my hair. And then they also speak English, they speak Thai, they speak Cantonese. It's on the second floor of this building. This street specifically, it looks like Chiang Mai or it reminds me of Chiang Mai but this area is in Ekamai It looks like I'm by myself at the restaurant but there's actually quite a bit of people but they're just sitting at the other tables Actually, I like to eat cow soy but I don't like the crispy noodle, I just like the egg noodle. So there's a lot of ways to ask for the bill. The first one, the most basic one, is check in, which is the formal way, I would say. Gapdang, which is the local way. And then kian, which is the bougie way. So today I want to be like... Gapdang. do a color analysis at 3 30 p.m the owner dm me on instagram and invited me to do this color analysis i'm actually curious because my favorite colors are black white blue and then sometimes i like purple and pink depending on the shade but i want to know what color matches my face more and then i also got a 7 11 water for a six spot it's interesting how it's not seven bot but six spot you know that the day i came to bangkok it was summer and it's still summer every time i grab bike it's like broad daylight and the sun is just draining my energy my first time no makeup on youtube Guys, 
ませんいただきます<笑>いらっしゃいませいただきます It looks like Terminal 21. <laughs> you, you know the logo. <laughs> Just realized that there's no orange. But you know, Uncle Roger wears orange, so he wants to stand out. It's spring, spring. It's what you do when it's making me feel like I'm girl is having barbecue on the fourth floor of Terminal 21. So, this place, why I like it is because the name has the word like. In it. I'm kind of on a date, so I'll talk to you later. Okay, so the last clip you saw of me was actually from a month ago because I've been a little bit busy so I didn't really record myself. If you turn left in that corner, it's actually Win Meta Win's macaron brand called Soury. I want to buy two macarons because I'm kind of hungry and also my brother is visiting me in Bangkok so I've been trying to hang out with him. But I've been a little bit busy these days because I went to Hong Kong for vacation and Phuket for vacation so I haven't really recorded myself. But I'm back in Bangkok, yay! And today I'm at Silom area uh, for breakfast actually and then we'll go do some other things this is actually the McDonald's that I went to last time when I went on a date and some people thought it was uh, like a red flag but I actually don't think it's weird to go to McDonald's for a date I think it's fun I ordered this before on Grab, but it doesn't taste as good. It looks like I'm at a club, but I'm actually at the restaurant that looks kind of like a club. It tells you if you want to go to Wat Po or Grand Palace, you take exit 1. can't wear shorts but I'm wearing short today so they kind of have elephant pants for you to buy a YouTuber? yeah I throw in your pants no no one two three Probably you, you watch my channel uh, you watch my your channel maybe three years ago you the rea reaction video reaction video oh oh my god oh my god oh my but that that was short my die chai Okay. So you can't wear shorts But they coincidentally have pants for you to buy for 160 to bot But at some Pang market it's 100 or 120 And then if you're hot, you can just buy a fan This one is super good Reasonable price, 20 baht Because 7-Eleven is also 20 baht <laughs> we came to Tanon Banmo because my brother wants to look at electronic stuff, but I don't have any idea what is happening. I don't know what these are, but look, look imagine someone remodeling on their own. And they just come here to buy a switch. Found a mysterious cat. It looks so sad. We 
walked all the way from Sanam Chai to we're heading to Chinatown actually, but it's hot AF. So we got this Coke slushy situation for 25 baht. Heading to Chinatown, some Peng Market specifically, and I did a video with Pichon from Friends from Thailand. Some Peng Market is between the Wat Mangon MRT and Sam Yon MRT. go-to spot in Chinatown but it's always a long line <laughs> mm. this one specifically is quite peppery but in a good way Usually the ferry to Icon Siam is 6 baht but today is free but I mean it was free like a year ago but they started charging people but today specifically is free because I'm not, I don't think it's because of the holiday but they probably want to encourage people to go to Icon Siam more. Super tired. So after the last clip we saw we went to Icon Siam. I didn't really record much because I want to focus on people that I hang out with only. Anyway, I'll see you in another video.